Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video what we're going to be going over is creating a free look system for our first person games. So this is going to be a very quick video as it's very simple to do but it's something I've been asked quite a bit after my third person free look. Some people didn't quite know how to translate over to first person so I'm going to be going over doing that today. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So as with a free look system essentially what we can do is we can walk and if I were to hold left alt or any button you want we can look around without it actually changing the direction we are moving in and we're traveling in. So again, I did this for third person, but this is now in first person, so we can then shoot where we want and where we want to look without actually having to travel in that direction. So it's just a bit more realistic and it just adds in that extra element to your game, which you might want, and I think it's really nice and really cool to do. So again, it means we can walk around and look around freely without changing the direction we are traveling in. So this is what we're going over in creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So like I said, this is incredibly simple and quick to do, so let's get right into it. The first thing we want to do is we want to go up to edit in the top left, project settings, scroll down to input under engine, and we want to create an action mapping. So let's open the action mapping here, add one, and I'm going to name this free look as that makes the most sense for me. And I'm going to set this to the button I want, and again, like I said in the start, I'm setting that to left alt. However, you could of course set this to whatever button you like. Now we're going to close this and open up our character blueprint. So for me, that's going to be content, first person, blueprints, BP, first person character. In here, we want to right click and search for the action mapping we just created. So I named mine free look, like so. We've got the action event there. And then off of this, we only really need to do two things. So here you can choose to do this on hold or on toggle. I had on hold, if you want it on toggle, it's just as simple. For toggle, what you want to do is come out of pressed, get a flip flop, and do your code here. So what I do out of pressed, you will do out of A. What I do from released, you will do out of B. But I want this to be on a hold, so what I'm going to do is not get the flip flop, and instead, out of pressed, I'm going to set use controller rotation your, and I want to set that to be false. And off of released, I want to do the same thing, set use controller rotation your this time setting it to true so when we hold it down we're going to set it to false when we release it we're setting it back to true so what you'll also want to do is make sure you select self up in the top left the name of our blueprint and then self and then make sure that use control rotation your is ticked so it's true by default it should be if you're in first person anyway if it's not make sure it is so that your first person is then going to work properly how you want so let's compile save and close this and let's hit play and test it out so if i had to walk around hold on left alt i can now move my camera and look around without it affecting the direction i'm traveling in so if i had to do that without holding alt you'll notice when i look around we're going to start moving in that direction but if it's a hold alt we're not going to do that so i think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do what we've done is we set up a very basic free look system which again was very quick and easy to do but it means we can just look around freely without having to actually then change which way we are moving in. So we can look to the left, we can look to the right without actually moving to the left or right. But if we were to obviously not hold it like I just showed you there, we will continue to move in that direction. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.